Hey friends, welcome to the Farming Pastor's Wife. I'm so glad you're here. My name is Leslie. Welcome. If you're new, I'm so glad you're here. And if you're back, I'm glad you're here. So if you haven't done so already, I would love for you to hit subscribe. I do upload content on cooking mainly, occasional grocery hauls, farming videos, day in the life of, some clothing hauls, any kind of things, you know, all the things. So I would love for you to hit subscribe and I would greatly appreciate it. So today I need a crock pot meal. It's a busy day. I need a crock pot meal. So we're making a new recipe to me. It's one that's probably on the internet that you have probably already been introduced to. But today I'm making Mississippi chicken. Hey darling, can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light Hey darling We could get out of town See the beautiful world around Wanna see it now Pack our bags and get in that car Leave a little note and we'll drive real far Let's get out, we can leave this city Let's drive to the open air Yeah, the countryside is So, if you have followed my channel any at all, you know that this week was going to be the week I started keeping Judah three days a week. Well, that started today. Plus, we're getting our chickens back. We are commercial poultry farm. We get our chickens on Thursday, so we had to do a little setup this morning, um, the, running the feed and so forth. And what was only going to take 30 to 45 minutes ended up being like three hours later. So Judah and I have not done any school or any worksheets or anything that we had planned to do. So we've, we're home, we've cleaned up, and now we are getting, I've got to get this crock pot meal in if it wants to get done, if I want it to get done. I don't know if it wants to get done or not. So let's get started. Okay, so my camera's tilting the wrong way. Um, I have a pack of the chicken breast that has like six or seven chicken breasts in it and I've just cut them down in half, trimmed any major fat, but I have left, you know, I have left a little on because that just aids in flavor. So I'm gonna put all these pieces in here um, the actual recipe is for, I think, three chicken breasts or maybe four chicken thighs. I can't remember. But um, I'll leave the actual real recipe. I always cook more because Caroline and Jamie will be eating with us tonight and Judah and Levi and me and Bryant. So um, I always cook a little extra. So I put, I double the recipe or, you know, one and a half the recipe. Um, so anyway, that's what we're doing. All right, let me wash my hands. I'll meet you back right here. So my daughter makes the Mississippi uh, roast. I always say Mississippi mud. <laughs> Mississippi pot roast. And I actually have a video of her doing that. I will try to link that down below. It's in my old kitchen, the blue kitchen. If you've been with me a while, you remember the blue kitchen. So uh, I'll link that down below. Well, this is with chicken, and it's pretty much the same, same recipe. Um, but we're doing it with chicken uh, and you can actually do this in the oven if you prefer to bake it in the oven but you need um, au jus gravy mix and I'm going to use two two packs just since I'm using extra chicken and um, and I'm sorry if you hear Judah in the background that's going to be kind of part of my channel from here on out all right so now you need some ranch mix um, the recipe calls for a pack of ranch, and I am, again, doubling this, so I'm going to use, you know, maybe four tablespoons. I'll just do three heaping. How's that? Okay. Now, we're going to go in with... A jar of pepperoncinis, and I'm gonna throw everything in there—the jar, the juice, everything. And then let me tell you, oh, you're not getting to see what I'm doing. Sorry, guys. Okay, so I'm just gonna pour this in here. 
pepperoncinis and all. Now I'm going to grab a stick of butter and put some butter around and get this going. Okay, so I've taken about a half a stick of butter and I've just sliced it up. And I'm just going to dot it around. And I'm going to turn this on high to get it started. But normally you would just, and that's only because I'm running late. But the actual thing you need to do is start it on low for about four to five hours. And so I'm going to actually, since I'm doing a little extra, I'm going to go five to six hours. And hopefully we'll have enough time to get it done. So I'm excited to try this. I think I'm going to do green beans as a side and maybe potatoes. We'll see. It's a crazy day. <laughs> we had some major issues at the chicken houses that we had not planned on. So, I guess it helps if I turn it on, right? <laughs> so, we'll go on high for a little bit. Let me tell you about the pepperoncinis. Last night, Judah and I went to Walmart because I wanted him to pick out some snacks that he could have and that he wanted to have here. And I needed the pepperoncinis, so I bought a jar of pepperoncinis. I get out to the checkout, and I'm looking at it, and there's a stem from the pepperoncini hanging out of the lid. And I thought, oh my goodness. Sorry, it's pollen season. I had to sneeze. Um, then we, I looked at it, and the, the <laughs> Judah's wanting to say hello. He has wet hair because he just got out of the bath. Say hello. hello. You got jelly on your mouth. You had a peanut butter jelly. Anyway, you got peanut butter and jelly everywhere. <laughs> anyway, so I got to looking and the juice was missing and it didn't look right. And the lady at the register said, I think somebody has opened it and snacked and then just stuck it back up there. I was like, oh my goodness, yuck. So I called my daughter and said, do you have a jar of pepperoncinis? Because I need a jar. And she did. Thank goodness. So, all right, guys. I will bring you back as soon as we start on our sides. And then we'll taste, taste this and see how it goes. And so uh, I've got to get used to my little munchkin being here today. He is trying his best to get up here. You're going to fall and get hurt. Hello, Grandy. He's so silly. Okay, we'll see you guys back in just a little bit. Okay, guys, I can't wait for Bryant to come in because I've got to get this video edited out to you guys. So let me show you what it looks like. There it is. Is that not a beautiful dish right there? So let's give it a quick taste and see what we think. I'm sorry if you hear crying children. Levi and Judah's outside with Caroline's out there with them. But um, So I've got me a piece right here. I don't know if you can see it. Um, it's going to be so good. Mm -mm -mm. Delicious. Okay. So, it's pretty good. Um, I like it. I like my pesto chicken. But this is really good. I really like this. This is going to be good. So, all of that is green beans and some mac and cheese going. Box mac and cheese. We're just going to do simple tonight. So, thank you guys for watching The Farming Pastor's Wife. Remember, if the grease is hot enough, you can fry anything. Bye, y'all. Turn your wheels and keep on the...
some of your water. Oh, that's so hot. Oh. But it was good. It was hot, but it was good. You gonna make another pizza for me? Peace.